We are live at the Q in Cleveland, Ohio, as we get set for the Cleveland Cavaliers against the L.A. Lakers. Hi, everybody. Marv Albert along with Steve Kerr. Both teams on the floor, ready to go. Let's take a look at tonight's starting lineups presented by T-Mobile. It's always fun to watch Shaq and Kobe going against each other following all the success that they had together in L.A. What are you looking for here tonight? Well, you're right, Marv. They won three rings together as teammates with the Lakers, and they really changed the entire landscape of the league. And Shaq still is a dominant low-post player. You know he's going to be fired up tonight against his old team and his old coach. I would look for him to get established early down on the block and try to make his presence felt. West gets it back to him. Here's James. The Cavaliers control. Able to take it hard to the rim. Well, offensive rebounding is about quickness and anticipation. It's a terrific play there. Fisher to the rim. Rebound by O'Neal. Williams trying to free himself up. Pass to Bryant. Fisher fires again. And the field goal. One minute remaining in this first quarter. The score is tied. Williams looking for the pick. Here's James. And he converts. Gasol looking for the ball. And it's good. Oh, there's Gasol with that exaggerated one-handed release and got a nice touch from there. Great two-for-one opportunity to end this quarter, Marv. A chance for this team to take the lead. And Shaquille O'Neal converts on a beautiful pass. Here's the line. Artest digging in defensively. The first quarter comes to an end. The Cavs lead by two. Steve, this has been a well-played first quarter. I, I think both coaches have to be pleased. Yeah, both teams played pretty well, Marv. Neither team was able to build much of a lead in that first quarter, but I look for the pace to pick up here in the second. The pass to West. Shot clock is down to three. James with one second. This is the three. Gasol looking to get open. Here's Bynum. The Lakers control. And Paul Gasol to the rim. Marv, if they expect to come away with a victory here tonight, they're going to have to get better shot attempts than that one. James finding room and battled away and knocked out of bounds. Shot clock to five. 
Marichal looking to set the screen. Nice crossover. Snatched by Gasol. Good job by Williams. Bryant with a layup opportunity. Yes. It's a beautiful shot there. Marv, as we wind down this first half, this club has a two-for-one opportunity right now. They've got to take advantage. O'Neal setting up in the post. Yes. Marv, I love watching this guy play. He's got fundamentally sound moves around the hoop and then a great touch. Bynum right back. He fires from downtown, and Ron Artest able to knock it down. So that's their first three of the night. Marischal comes out to set the pick. Here's Williams. That's the end of quarter number two. The Cavaliers trail by three. The Cavs with an unusual first half, very poor shooting. They're still in the game. What do you look for in the second half? Well, they have to develop some kind of offensive rhythm, Marvin. I, I think a quick start to this third quarter is imperative. They've got to find a way to get some easy hoops, maybe get out in transition, get an offensive rebound, get to the free throw line, something to get them offensively started. One-on-one, -on -one, I don't know if he can be stopped down there, Marv. You see the nice finish around the hoop. Defense may have to bring the double team. The alley -oop pass. The Cavaliers will throw him. Marv, we talk about it all the time, but it's just so important, especially in a close game, to value each possession and really come up with solid execution. You can't afford to make mistakes like that. O'Neal's been on fire tonight. Now you take a look at the replay and you can understand why defenses fear this guy because he can score so many different ways and here he is tonight having another big game. O'Neal looking for the open man. Yes! Boy, that was great execution on that set right there, Marvin. They've been doing it all night. That's how they've built this lead. Really, really sound offense. The Saul trying to break free. And Kobe Bryant not able to score. Come on, they have to get a better shot than that. It's a very poor offensive execution. James with the entry pass. And the bucket. Well, they've been really effective offensively tonight, Marvel. That's one of the reasons they're winning this game. They've found a nice rhythm. They're getting open looks, and they're really sharing the ball. Bryant, again, handled by West. Mark, they have to get better offensive execution. In a close game, you've got to get quality attempts. James trying to get free off the pick. With the bucket. Los Angeles asks for a timeout. Gets the pick. Loses control of it. Quarter running down, and he'll fire one. So after three, the Cavs lead by six.
All right, Steve, as we start the fourth quarter, neither team able to take command. What are you looking for here in the fourth? Well, in a close game like this one, Marv, it, it, oftentimes it's the little things. But who can take a charge? Who can come up with loose balls? If you can get to the line or maybe get out in transition, get an easy basket. Those kinds of plays could be the difference. Bryant finding the open man. Yes, Fisher is two for three from the field. Williams using that pick. Good footwork by Fisher. Shot clock down to two. Our test ends up with it. Another defensive stop. You can feel the momentum changing a little bit here, Marv. Fisher puts it up again. The Lakers on the glass. Oh, and able to finish strong in traffic. Marv, we can talk strategy all we want, but sometimes the game comes down to who's going to go get the ball. Terrific rebound there. Fires. And LeBron James unable to knock it down. Delivery to Gasol. Bryant trying to break free. Yes! Great defense by Artest. Gasol able to succeed with that box out. Cleveland wants to talk. Marv, I love this situation. Coaches in the NBA thrive here. They draw something up, try to put people on the floor to be effective, and get an open look here. is 19 to 17. This is Marv Albert along with Steve Kerr saying so long from the Quicken Loans Arena in Cleveland.